All right, guys, welcome back. In the last video, we learned how to analyze emotions and find out which emotions are present in our text. And we also learned how to count these emotions using our counter. In this video, we are going to be plotting these emotions on a graph by something known as matplotlib, which is a library used in Python to create graphs. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on file, then I'm going to go to settings, and then I'm just going to go to my project and project interpreter. And then I'm going to click on this plus icon, and I'm just going to search for matplotlib. And we're going to select this and click on install package. I've already installed it. I don't know why I'm installing it again. But anyways, if you're not using PyCharm, you can just write on your command prompt matplotlib and pip install it. So you're just going to write pip install matplotlib, and it's also going to be installed on your system. And after that, after it's installed, just click on OK. It will take a little bit of time to make sure that's added to your package. And then what we are going to do is inside over here, just at the top, we are going to import our matlib project or package. And I'm just going to write import matplotlib. And then we are going to import inside that something known as plot. So I'm just going to write by plot. And we are going to import this as plt. So anytime we need to use this matplotlib.pyplot, we can just use plt in the short form of plot to use this function of matplotlib.pyplot. And then we are just going to scroll down and over here we are going to create the graph by writing plt dot and we are going to create a bar graph and it requires two values. First is the keys that is what emotions are present. So sadness, happiness. So we are just going to write w dot keys and the second value it requires are the values which is 4, 2, 1, 1 and 1. So I'm just going to write w dot values. And then after that, we also want to save the graph as an image inside our project. So I'm just going to write plt dot save figure. And then what do you want the name of the image to be? So I'm just going to write it as uh, let's just write it as graph dot png. And then the last line is that we want to show the plot on the screen. So I'm just going to write plt dot show. And that's pretty much it. So actually, let's just run our main dot pi file and see if it's working or not. And even before that, let me just remove this printing final words so that we are not confused. And now we can just run this main dot pi file and see if it works. So now you can see that the image of the graph is here. The sadness is four, the happiness is two, and all the others are one. You can also convert them into percentages but it doesn't really matter right now. So now you can see that the image has also been saved as an image of graph.png. You can also open that over here. So let me just uh, make it smaller or we can even minimize it. And you can see that the graph.png is being shown over here. Now we can just put in other things inside our read.txt file and see how they match. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our Steve Jobs speech that he gave at Stanford and I'm just going to copy all of the text from over here and just copy it and paste it inside our read.txt file so that we can analyze the emotions that are present inside his speech that he gave at Stanford. If you haven't heard the speech, make sure you hear it. It's a pretty good speech, very inspiring. And then just click on this main.py file, run it again. And you can see that the emotions that are present are different. The happy emotions is five, then there's hated, entitled, loved, and all the other emotions are one. Now let's actually try and analyze the speeches. You can close these graphs by clicking on this cross icon over here. And then I'm just going to just minimize it a little bit. And then I'm going to go to Google and maybe open up this Mark Zuckerberg speech. So let me just wait for this to open up. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this, um, all of this line. Let's just copy it from here. Let's just keep on scrolling down. It's a pretty big speech, huh? Hopefully we'll be able to find a lot of emotions from here. So I'm just going to copy this and paste this inside our read.txt file. And then let's just run our main.py file again. And I'm actually I'm curious because I've never ran it before to see what kind of emotions are present. So as you can see, it's a little bit uh, mixed on the x axis. This is what I wanted to address. So all of these, if there are a lot of emotions, then these emotions can get jumbled up on the x axis. So we need to make sure that they are a little bit tilted automatically. So what we are going to do is we are going to change it a little bit. So for now, let's just minimize this graph right now. And instead of writing plt dot part, what we are going to do is we are going to create two variables that is fig that stands for figure. And then we are going to save the axis over here. And then what we are going to do is we are going to create something known as subplots. So we're going to write plt dot subplot. And we're going to use it as a function. That's why the brackets. So now our figure and the axis will be stored in these two variables. Now, instead of writing plt dot bar, we are going to write axn ax1 dot bar so that our axis can automatically adjust. And how do you automatically adjust 
the access something known as automatic figure update and we are going to use this figure variable for that so i'm just going to write fig dot a u t o that stands for auto and then format fmt underscore x date and then it's going to be inside brackets so what this is going to do is this is going to automatically update the axis the x axis and the y axis to make sure that all values are presented properly and then we don't need to change the last two lines so that's going to be there automatically so let me just format this properly and what we have done is that we have created a subplot that has a figure and an axis and we have stored them inside these two variables then we have used axpen dot bar to create our actual graph and then we we have used this figure variable fig to automatically update the x axis and the y axis and make sure that they fit properly and then we save the figure and then we showed the plot so now let's just run this main.py file again so that you guys can see what's happening over here and it's showing an error because instead of subplot it's supposed to be subplots and then we can run this main.py file again and it's going to show you all the graphs and now all the values all the keys on the x-axis are a little bit tilted so that you can see what's happening over here so in the Mark Zuckerberg speech mostly it's happy and then there is some hated I don't know why there's so much of hated in the speech and then he's also <laughs> alone maybe he's telling his like life story and stuff and then there's also a little bit of sadness and uh, yeah so these are the emotions that are present inside his speech so anyways guys this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are gonna analyze the tweets so for example, if you search for hashtag Donald Trump, you can take all of these tweets from Donald hashtag Donald Trump and you can analyze what is the emotions of the people who are tweeting those tweets. So we're going to first of all extract all the tweets from Twitter feed and then we're going to analyze those tweets and we're going to be doing all this cool stuff in the next video. So I'm really excited to see you over there.